love Saturdays because it gives me the opportunity to serve you with the menu. Today on the menu, we'll be talking about Peter Pan. We're going to have an interview with the manager of Peter Pan. We are also going to have a short interview with the communications director from the Ghana Restaurants Awards. Don't forget to like our Facebook page and keep commenting on our Facebook page because it gives you the opportunity to have a family dinner for six at the end of the month. Also follow us on Twitter and Instagram and visit our website on www.grawardsgh.com for more information. Do not go in anywhere i will be right back the ghana restaurant awards 2015 has begun nominate your favorite restaurant eateries hotel restaurants bars and more for the restaurant awards 2015 log on now to our website on www.grawardsgh.com sign into the contact page and nominate your favorite restaurant to compete in the different categories best in hotel restaurants best in foreign restaurants best in local restaurants best in eateries and bars best in coffee shop you can also nominate your favorite restaurants on our facebook page twitter handle and instagram hotel and restaurant owners can also use this platform to appreciate their best staff of the year for sponsorship and advertising call 057-707-3247 057-707-3247 Ghana Restaurant Awards, awarding true delicacy. Welcome back. Now, let me take you straight to Peter Pan, which is a great set out for you and your friends. Let's go. Hey there, you're still on the menu, but I have brought you here to Peter Pan. Peter Pan is located in Medina, just on top of the Stanbeck Bank and right beside the Shell Filling Station. Peter Pan is a great place to hang out as college students because they have free Wi-Fi. You can have your assignments here. You can do all other work here at Peter Pan. It is a great set up for everybody. You can come here, hang out with friends and family and yes, to the food. They have pizza. They have great pizza. It's so yummy. Shows. And they have a variety of food where you can buy anything you want, eat and satisfy your hungry belly. Okay, so I am here with the person who manages the whole of Peter Pan and she's in the person of Christabel Fusu. You're welcome, madam. Thank you. All right, uh, first of all, can you just run through what you sell here, what you give out to your customers here? Okay, we have a whole lot doing here. We have pizza, we have the types of combination, vegetables and cheese pizza as well. We also do um, crispy chicken, the boneless and the bone-in. We also do original. When we say original, it doesn't mean there's a big difference between like selling fake thing or original. We, it's just the name of the chicken that we, we just have. And we also do spaghetti bolognese and um, carbonara. We also have um, something like potato chips, fried rice, and a whole lot. We have delicious things doing here, right? All right. So do you have any special meal that is associated to Peter Pan, like Peter Pan special or something like that? Um, uh, not really because everything we have here is very special and we are here to do a whole lot and like to combine or to have special thing like you just said so we are planning to do that as well. Alright so I just want us to delve a little bit into the live band activity. What initiated this idea of bringing a live band here? Um, we want to give our customers the best and um, it's like customers normally bring ideas like giving, um, bringing in new ideas and we just sit down and discuss about it and we find the best solution to it. So it's the idea of the customers and my boss as well. That's why we're having this live band around. Okay, you talked about the idea of your customers bringing it to you. Does it mean you have a suggestion box or they have to come and see you? What is the process in telling you? They have to come and see me. If they have any problems or any new idea or plan, we just sit, they meet me, we sit and we discuss about it. Oh, that's beautiful. How about the Wi-Fi? Does anybody at all just walk in here and use the Wi-Fi or they can? They have to buy something before they stay here and use the Wi-Fi? Um, the Wi-Fi is unlimited. You just buy, you get a code from it. You can choose to buy only water, anything at all, you get a code. You can use it the whole day. Wow. 
Wow, that is amazing. You heard her. You can just buy anything at all and use the Wi-Fi for the whole day, 247. But do you operate from morning till evening? Come again. Do you operate? What are, what are your operation hours? Um, our operation hours for customers starts from 11.30 to 11 o'clock p.m. in the evening. Oh, so from 11.30 to 11 p.m. in the evening. That's wonderful. <laughs> it's been nice talking to you. Same as well. Well, <laughs> I just wanted to find out if this Wi-Fi is as fast as I heard it was. Well, it is. I have been able to open my Gmail within seconds. I've been able to send a mail right now. And I'm actually downloading some documents from my Dropbox. It is fast. You know, you can actually come here not because you want to hang out to buy food or because you want to hang out with friends or anything. You can actually carry your laptop, come here, just buy a Coke or anything at all. Just something little. You don't need to satisfy yourself. And take advantage of the Wi-Fi, use the Wi-Fi, research, you can do your homework, you can do your assignments, you can do anything at all you want to do here. And yes, you can download. I'm downloading stuff right now and I believe it's always stable. I heard it earlier, I just wanted to prove them right or wrong. And yeah, they proved me wrong and I'm so happy, I'm so glad. I think you should come here just to do your assignments and to download and to do any other thing with the Wi-Fi. So I am at the table of men and I'm going to ask them their views on the Ghana Restaurants Awards. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Tell, tell us your name. My name is Atin Boa Konkaliko. All right. And what do you think about the Ghana Restaurants Awards? Well, I think it's a good thing. It will help restaurants improve and then it will put them on a good standard too. All right. Let me move to the gentleman over here. Your name? Uh, my name is Justice. Okay, so you're going to tell us about your idea or what you think about the Ghana Restaurants Awards. Okay, I think it's a good initiative. Uh, the fact that we have so many restaurants around these days and uh, all of them competing for customers, it will put them on a, on a, a good platform to be able to, you know, um, compete with themselves for the best service, you know. Hi, lady. Hello. What's up with you? Cool things. Anyways, I just want to find out from you what you think about the Ghana Restaurants Awards. Okay, it's a very good initiative because it will enable the other restaurants who are not doing well to actually put up their best to do very well because they will also want to get an award. And even it will give them, it will just give them name and they will get more people to come. You just heard about what other people think about the Ghana Restaurants Awards. Let's move back into the studio. Now I've been joined in the studio by Miyoshi Nelson. She is the Communications Director from the Ghana Restaurants Awards. You're welcome, Miyoshi. Thank you. So, Miyoshi, tell us, what is this whole Ghana Restaurants Awards about? The Ghana Restaurant Awards is the first of its kind here. Basically, what it is, is to bring recognition and appreciation to the hotel and restaurant industry. Wow. So, um, if I own a restaurant, how do I get nominated? Well, basically, it's your co consumers, your customers, or your patrons oh. that come in and you serve them. They are the ones that's going to nominate you and vote for you. Um, how is that going to be done? Like, how, how do they nominate you? Well, basically, they can go to our website and nominate their favorite restaurant, but there's also a voting process as well. Okay, so if, if I nominate my people and everything, what is the criteria? for selecting a winner? Okay, basically how they would win is 60% of the criteria comes from the consumers, which they can vote via short code, and the other 40% come from the Ghana Tourism Standards Authority. So right now, there is no short codes available, but they are coming soon. They just have to keep going to our website and they'll become available. So what if I'm not nominated by anybody? Can I still participate? Yes, you definitely can still participate. We have several sponsorship programs that you can also get involved in the Ghana Restaurant Awards. 
Well, how, how do I do that? Do I still have to go to the website? You will have to go to the website and, and contact us, and then we'll send the information to you. Well, viewers, the website is right down here, so you can always visit this website to find out more information about the Ghana Restaurants Awards. Okay, so if I want to be a sponsor, Miyoshi, mm -hmm. how do I come up to say I want to sponsor this whole event? Well, all you have to do is go to our website. You, we have a list of the sponsorship programs on there. You choose the one that you want, and then you just contact us and we'll go from there. That's so simple. Mm -hmm. So who are the big brains behind this <laughs> whole event? Because it's so amazing and I really like the idea. The event coordinators are Teleclass International, which is a global media house. Wow. Anyways, um, before you came here, I made a little research and I found out that um, you guys are actually going to make your platform available for restaurant owners to honor their um, their employees mm -hmm. why is that well you know in this industry and, and basically any industry the staff is the backbone they are the ones that work hard every day for the company so they should be recognized and they should be appreciated and this is an opportunity for the company the restaurants hotels to actually honor them in that way well how, how do I come up to you tell the Teleclass International that I want to honor my employee. How do I do that? Well, basically, again, you will go to our website. You will contact us. We'll have a list of contact numbers that you can, that's available to you. Um, and just let us know which employee, what they do, and then we will honor them at the actual award ceremony. Okay, I think the contact numbers are down here right now, viewers. You can always get these contacts, and anytime you want to award any of your employees on the Ghana Restaurant Awards Day, you can always contact any of these numbers and be sure to award your employee. Thank you very much, Miyoshi, for passing by. Let's just have a cheer. Okay, cheers. <laughs> I'll be right back after this break. It's fun time! Welcome to a place where knowledge meets fun and thrills. A gathering where the wonders of entertainment increases your creativity in an atmosphere of enjoyment, laughter and friendship. Teleclass TV for Kids proudly presents the main edition of the Summer Camp for Kids 2015. This four-week camp provides kids between the ages of 8 and 16 passes fun skills in public speaking, standing in front of a camera, building confidence, learning public presentation, professional writing workshop, critical thinking, among others. Coupled with fun activities such as swimming, dancing and martial arts, parents don't allow your kids to miss out on this great offer. Secure a spot by calling us on 02318-28023. You can also reach us on teleclasstv at gmail.com. Teleclass TV for kids. Light up our kids. So this is how I draw the curtains down on today's edition of The Menu With Me, BB. Don't forget to like our Facebook page. Keep commenting on Facebook because you can win yourself a family dinner of six. Also follow us on Twitter and Instagram and visit our website www.grawardsgh.com. Shout outs to Mike, to Jeff, to Bride, to Adam, to Austin, to everyone in the house. Don't forget to join me same time next week on The Menu.